out. Alright, what is up guys? We are back with Door Kickers 2. We have Who Goes There. This is a community-made mission. Uh, it is an Eliminate All Terrorists, so we don't have any hostages to save. Um, we will still be conscious of civilians in the area. Unsure if there are any, but we're going to be conscious of it. So we end up, we actually have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six separate structures that we're going to have to clear and the bulk of our team is here on this left side so I think the best thing that we can do is probably just work clockwise um, and then have these three positioned probably probably this way looking this way to shut down anything you know trying to push us from here or shoot from us uh, shoot us from here um, we are playing with the project Ares mod um, we will be take, taking out Delta on this uh, mission here, so we'll be uh, switching it up. We won't be doing the uh, FBI HRT, and we are taking uh, frags, flashbangs, frags, flashbangs. We have a couple wall charges, slap charges, uh, same thing here. Um, we also have uh, one call-in for a AC-130. So we can call that in to support us as well. So we'll, as soon as we take contact, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Oh, god dang it. Dude, I hate, for some reason, my W and S key in this game will zoom in and zoom out instead of like panning up and down. Um, and it's super annoying. Super annoying. And it seems to be with my NVIDIA Shadow Play, you know, recording. Because it'll be fine. And then I'll hit record, and it'll do that. So I don't know what the what the um, issue is, if it's uh, Nvidia's or Door Kickers. Uh, but yeah, it's super annoying. Okay, let's hit Shift F. So it looks like we have an RPK right here on a barricade. Oh my god, that's so annoying. Because then I just have to use my mouse to do that. Okay. So let's start... Uh, so these guys are in, like, tall grass. So they can't be seen. Um, and I would like us to try to get into position prior to being engaged. So if I can just get these guys here into this tall grass... That would be cool. Oh, we're already engaging. Yep. Okay, so these guys are... These guys need to stay where they're at. They just need to use the vehicle. We need to start getting set up here. Just Let's just start moving. Let's see, what do we have? Uh, you can go about right. Yeah, that's a pretty big arc. Okay. Keep eyes there. Who do we have left? You can come up. Keep eyes. God dang it, come on. Alright. Okay, so they're suppressing. Um, can I get... I can. Let's get him, like, right about here. Oh, whoops. I must have... I probably have to have, like, eyes on, I guess. Uh, 
Okay, I don't know if that's like calling it in there. Because I really don't want to call that in right there. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so let's get this like right about here. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, so we, we have a door on this side. Um, let's start moving up to this door. Set him up on this corner. Watch in here. Kind of get these guys moved over a little bit. Now that uh, we probably have some time that we can move. Now what I am going to do is put these guys on a hold. There we go. don't have eyes on this sector now so we'll have to switch that over and we got time you know what I mean this isn't a hostage rescue we got time where is here we go let's get a charge on this door he's gonna have to step past cover long That was a big one. So we haven't taken contact from this house, so I, I'm reluctant to just throw a frag in there. And actually we have a bad guy right there, so we are going to throw a frag in there now. Oh, I don't like that. Now we got to be careful of windows. And honestly, we may just use three guys for this and set up the other guys in a position. We got another bad guy back there. I don't want to cross that threshold really, uh, but I kind of nah. We'll leave him. We'll leave him here. Um, just kind of watching that door. We'll start moving, working this angle. So we are good here. <clears throat> we'll push this guy up and we'll, we'll be... Push him up. Let's move him as well with him. Get him caught up. There we go. Yeah, 
God dang, I hate, I hate all the crap in here. I, I like it, but I hate it. Because it really, screw it, we'll just go right there. Um, we still have good, we still have good sectors here. I like, I like where we're at watching, uh, these areas. So I think we're good there. We'll just keep, uh, keep what we have and I'll have these guys take this corner. So let's just take this corner real quick. On to the next house. get these guys set up on this corner behind this uh, dumpster to hold this <clears throat> do we have who's my breacher there we go we'll just use a slap charge Gosh, man, this looks like an absolute shithole. I'm actually going to kind of work these guys around a little bit. He can hold long. I want him to focus on that. Oh crap, this is a really shitty deal. We're just gonna cross. Um, let's put him... Let's just back out. Let's just back out. Screw that. Oh shit. Um, I think I could probably get it kicked from here and be pretty safe. Oh, let's get a bang in. Okay. I'm going to take this corner real quick. Okay, nothing there. Now, 
I don't really want to move... I don't really want to move out this door. I want to kind of move out the way we came in. Um, <clears throat> and honestly, we have good eyes on this. We have good eyes on this structure and this lane here. So what I may do is just take these three um, and push them to tackle this house first. I think that's probably the move. Um, and then we can work from there because we really just have this structure left. This one's pretty... Um, no longer an issue. <laughs> now we have to treat it like, you know, there could still be people in there obviously until it's cleared, but uh, that's probably a lesser threat, so. Alright, so let's get him up here on this. And then we're going to move we can move him over here. <clears throat> Alright, now we can cross. Ah. Actually, I need him to sit up, like, right there. Oh, come on. There we go. Um, and we can take... Now, the only thing is we need to kind of leave this guy here. I was going to say we could take him in with us, but we can't. We need to leave him him here because we aren't really exposing uh, our guys too much on this side. To where they could, they could watch this angle. So, I mean, realistically, somebody could kind of make their way around or out a side door or some crap. Uh, so we'll just leave him there and keep our, uh, keep the three-man team we've been using. Where's... here we are. So let's get a uh, breach on this door. Ready to blow. Come on. Um, with the contact that we've been taking, uh, I think we're just gonna throw a frag in. Who has a frag? He does. Okay, we're not gonna be able to get a very good frag in that way, so we're just gonna have to keep kinda working around till we can. Nope. Alright, we'll just pie it off a little bit. Alright, we'll just cross with him. There we go. I didn't like that, but I want to get a frag in this room. There's quite a bit of guns and whatnot. So. And then we'll follow it up. Luckily, we pretty much know the majority of this room is clear. So. We'll do... Uh, Strong side first, follow in. All right. He has frags, so take point. Let's toss a frag in here. Holding. Oh, that was a little bit un uh, crappy timing on my part. I thought it would detonate a little bit quicker than that. Let's toss a 
Where is it? There we go. Let's toss a bang in. So let's take this. God dang, it's very confined. Very confined space. We're just going to have to kind of work it. But we also have to be cognizant of doors and windows. Okay, we're good there. Who still has? He has frags. Holding. Okay, back away. Oh crap, what the heck is this? You gotta be careful with overexposing yourself, so we're just kinda doing the best we can right here. Because I don't know what the deal is with that. Okay. And we'll just pie this off. What is it? What's obstructing me? I don't know what's obstructing me there. I feel like that shouldn't. That's not supposed to be like that, but it is, so. Okay. Okay, hold that. We need to get cover on this guy as we arrest him. Alright. Cool. I mean, it looks pretty clear. Small hole. We'll just uh, take it. One guy, and we're good. Okay, cool. So let's, um, we can kind of collapse these guys a little bit. Um, trying to think here. Uh, let's just go back out the way we came. We have good coverage, so we'll just run around here. We already know that we got good eyes to cover us as we move. All of this is cleared space. So let's just uh, do it that way. That way we can come through this door here that we already have eyes on. We got, we got good setup. I'm trying to think if there's... I move him maybe this way so he can watch that lane. And we'll get stacked up with these guys. Alright, we'll have a four man entry team here. I'll put this guy on the back side to cover long here. We got coverage watching this way. 
coverage here. Probably switch him a little bit this way so we have cross cross coverage. And let's start moving. Probably could have timed that a little bit better so he wasn't moving out there by himself, but I think we have good uh, good coverage here. Not too concerned, but could have done a better job with it. <clears throat> Let's just pie this off. Nothing. Anybody have... He has frags. Does he have a frag? He does have a frag. Alright, let's just move him over so we can get a frag in. <laughs> Definitely somebody there. He's going to have to hold that. We'll just have to move yellow up at the same time. And they can tackle this door. clear let's work him around Got a bad guy right there. There we go. Cool. Alright, let's watch the replay.
All right, so that is who goes there. We did a, I think, a pretty good job with it. Uh, right off the rip, we got engaged. Well, we did the engaging. Uh, I probably could have set them to hold fire, and then that would have allowed my guys in the weeds here to uh, get up into position to initiate initiate the uh, assault. Um, but I didn't really realize that they were like hidden here. So I figured as soon as we started, they would be seen. Uh, they weren't. And I also figured like these guys would be seen right away. Uh, which I think they actually were. Um, so either way, uh, it played out well. Nobody, I don't even think anybody got hurt in the mission. Uh, but yeah, so we had our, I don't know, undercover guys or whatever that were rolling up in this uh, jalopy. And uh, we engaged everybody at these uh, checkpoint areas. Uh, we also had our main entry team that was engaging multiple threats from here. Uh, after that, we pretty much just set up uh, sectors of fire and then had our assault team move in. We had one guy holding this corner, which was a good thing because the guy tried to come around us, uh, made entry. After we made entry, pretty much just worked our way around, again, held coverage here now i was kind of stupid i didn't realize that at the time uh the guys that i had holding here could not see over this dumpster i realized that in the replay and i was like oh well that could have been bad uh, but yeah they couldn't see over the dumpster so anyways we cleared through here um after we cleared through here i was like i don't want to work my way out this door because there's a lot of there's just a lot of crap you know what i mean a lot of crap so why do it um we had this entire section that was uncleared and then like not very good eyes to watch this way so it's like screw it let's just go back out the way we came and then uh, we'll set up you know coverage and we'll just move across and hit this middle structure uh, I kind of screwed up right here I tossed a frag into this room and uh, I started moving my guy before it detonated so he was basically I mean he he would have got hit that was within like 10 feet he would have got hit um, but yeah so I, I kind of screwed up with that one that was just my bad. Uh, moved them a little bit too soon. And, uh, yeah. Then we just cleared this. Um, again, I don't want to go out. I don't want to go out this way. Um, let's just keep what we had. We have two guys that were holding uh, this angle. So it's like, let's just work our way back. Come back around. Um, then we hit this house. And this was the last house that needed to be hit. And, yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, worked out really well. It, um... See, and that's the thing with, like, you know, we called in an AC-130 gunship support and uh, basically wrecked anything that was in this area. So that was, like, a non-issue. Um, the frag grenades, you know, throw a frag into a room and it pretty much clears the room for you. Um, so that's kind of why I try to stay away from it. You know what I mean? It just, like, bangs and... Uh, just the normal, no no gunship support, no attack aircraft, no whatever else. Uh, just because it kind of kind of just makes it too easy, you know. <laughs> it kind of just makes it too easy, but it is fun. You know what I mean? So I, I had fun with this mission. It is fun to mix it up, just freaking blow crap up, throw frags, whatever else. Uh, so yeah. That's pretty much it. Again, this was uh, Who Goes There. It is a community-made mission. Um, we are using the Going in Blind mod and the Project Ares mod. Uh, and that's all I got for today, guys. I will see you on the next one.